All right. If you haven't heard, there's a big uh, hurricane headed this way. We live in Florida, so we're, I'm always ready for everything. Um, you've seen these before. These are just standard UPSs that we use on the computer. And the power goes off. It switches over briefly, and your computer runs for 10, 20, maybe a half an hour max. Computer draws several hundred watts, 250, 300 watts, or whatever. Currently, it's hooked up to this freezer as a test see what it does um, but I thought about it this this thing here is good but it only has a 7 amp battery inside it's a lead acid so when it dies it takes forever to charge up and if you drain it too much you'll kill the lead acid battery well I bought this a long time ago this is the Jackery Explorer 1000 it's a lithium they call it a solar generator, but it's not a solar generator. It's just a lithium battery with an inverter paired in there. So we've got a one kilowatt battery and a 1,000 watt, which is another kilowatt, pure sine wave inverter. So this thing can power blenders, televisions, microwaves, whatever, you know, and up and for a solid hour at full max 1,000 watts. Easily could power this freezer. But I thought to myself, well, this thing isn't powerful enough to do all the stuff I want to do. I'm not going to run the air conditioner, but I want to do run cable modem, maybe a TV, lights, this freezer, whatever, stuff like that. Well, I got to thinking, why doesn't somebody make a high capacity UPS that's higher than 1500, or excuse me, yeah, 1500 volt? I'm going to make my own. This is the Xantrax Pro Watt auto transfer switch and what this is it's real simple um, one wire goes to your AC and the other wire goes to an inverter or solar power system and then your load goes here so what it automatically does is the way it's wired is a little backwards but I'm just gonna do it the reverse and it'll work as I want this will go into the Jackery there'll be a plug on this end that goes into the AC in the wall. So what happens is the AC's powering it, the relay clicks down, the power goes to the AC, through the relay to your load, which would be a power strip or whatever you're running. And then, let's say the AC goes out. It waits till the AC goes down to 80 volts or lower. Blackout or brownout, boom, switches over to the other input, which would be the Jackery 1000 inverter, which is on currently, and drawing three watts. It was three watts just a minute ago. Hold on, you son of a bitch, make me look. Okay, so <laughs> so this standing here, being charged by this brick, which is 165 watts in. So 165 watts in, six watts out. Excuse me, three watts out. Somewhere between three and six. Okay just standing there idle with no load on this thing my theory is this will run forever because there's more power coming in that's going out okay between three and six watts kind of shitty but whatever so i got three outlets here that i could just plug into but i don't want to run the items off the battery constantly because then you're draining it charging it draining it charging it and then you're gonna wear out the battery so what i plan to do is plug that in and it will run off of AC until the power goes out and then it'll switch to the Jackery and I got to thinking maybe even another step I could get for 20 bucks I could get one of these power strips and hardwire this into that switch I just showed you so picture you have the Jackery as the backup power the main power coming in from the wall, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, eight, ten outlets, and three USBs, all being powered from the wall all times. And when the power goes out, it switches to the 1,000 watt Jackery or any other solar generator or a regular generator or whatever it is. So that's my plan. I'm going to hack this up tomorrow. This is the only thing I could find that actually will make it here before this hurricane uh, makes it 15 amps. I'm hoping I can take this apart 
and wire this properly. So I'm basically building the world's largest UPS made from off the shelf parts. Because most of the time, the Jackery does sit, you know, just charged up, ready to go, and I'm not using it because I don't want to kill the battery. But in this kind of case, if it's not putting a load on the battery and it's keeping itself charged, it might be a good thing just to, you know, use it. So we take the, I think if you, and it doesn't tell you the run time. Oh well. So that's the plan. And this thing, you know, will probably go back on the cable modem or, or, or something. So you can see it's starting to charge a little. Oh, there it goes. So it's putting 45 watts in. When it starts at 165, it goes to 45, and then down to zero. So right now, believe it or not, this freezer is working on um, with the battery backup, and it will stay running because it doesn't draw 300 watts continuous. It's a 300 watt surge and 100 watts continuous power, and I won't lose all that food. Now, another thing I want to show you is these little USB dongle things. Um, I got a pack of them. Doesn't look like much. Just looks like a USB stick. But you'll notice that there's two sets of contacts. And what that allows you to do, turn this on, is plug it in, and the logo on top is actually a touch switch. So you touch it, it turns on, and I'll flip it over so you can see what it looks like. It's actually quite bright. Basically converts your USB, oh shit, into really, really bright light. If you hold it, you can dim it. And it also remembers where you left it. So it's a great little thing to plug into, you know, a portable battery pack or whatever some sort of uh, system here that you can have lights and I loaned a battery pack and a couple of these to my girlfriend so when the power goes out there she can see and charge her phone nothing this big it's just a portable one you can take from room to room you know if you need to go to the bathroom you just carry with you this thing obviously is not gonna move around but these are cheap and they don't draw that much power so, made by YI Tree, y, YT, yeah, yeah, YT, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> what a name. Okay, well, anyway, thanks for watching. This is Hurricane Prep video number one. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot more coming up. I'm going to be sitting here bored when the lights go out, but at least I'll have food, power, internet, whatever.